everybody. I'm Tom Basso. Welcome to a little top 10 list here in the Dice Tower, where I talk about top 10 games with bugs in them. And I'm being very specific here to talk about bugs because I'm not, I don't say insects because I want to include spiders. So creepy crawlies maybe would be a good uh, term for this. When it comes to bugs in games, there, it seems like there's two main ones, spiders and ants. Those are the two ones. There's also and cockroaches coming in a distant third. And nowadays we're seeing more games about bees and there's some games about flies and centipedes and stuff like that. But these are 10 games. Uh, this is a, a genre I find very interesting. I'd like to see more games made in this line. We'll have to wait and see. So here we go. Number 10 is Hive. I'm actually not a huge fan of Hive, but I felt it would have been a disservice to the, this list had I not put it on here. So I'm not a big fan of this, but this is by far the most popular bug game out there. It's an abstract strategy game in which there's no board and you place the pieces down and you're moving them around trying to capture and take out your opponent's bugs. Each bug, the spider, the ant, they all move differently. And so I have to give this props for being a very well-designed game. It's only 10 on my list because I'm not as big of a fan of it. Nine is Bugs on Rugs. I just reviewed this one recently. It is a kind of a drafting game, and then you're collecting sets of bugs, but the bugs also will do various things. I like drafting games. I like trying to collect sets of bugs. Each bug does something different. It especially works well with kids, as you will notice many of the games in this list do. Number eight is Bugs in the Kitchen. For a while, those little animated cockroaches, the, the bugs that you would you have little batteries and they just run around, skitter around. Well, Bugs in the Kitchen has one of those where it's running around and you are rolling a die and manipulating utensils, forks and spoons and knives to make a path so that it will go into your opponent's bin. Or if you're playing the other way, to go in your own bin. Either way, it's silly fun and this one has just, it, it has a very high replayability and you play it over and over and over with kids and families. Number seven is Grasshopper and the Ant. This is based on the fable. This is from Purple Brain and their storybook line. And it has a good, I mean, it, it, all their games there kind of follow the story fable line. You know, the Red, Little Red Riding Hood, Three Little Pigs. And this one is one of the better ones of that genre. As you're flipping things over, you want to be like the ants and not the grasshoppers. So it's a good one. It works for kids, I think, more than adults. But it's a good family style game. Number six is Problem Picnic Attack of Ants. In this game, your dice are ants going after a picnic and you're kind of bouncing dice onto a board or rolling dice on, maybe knocking someone else's dice off, trying to control different food that's out there. I had a lot of fun with this one. Different size dice. Definitely, again, pointing more towards the kids. Great production values and I thought the theme was fun. Number five is Brilliance. Now this is comes back to a more bigger grandiose game uh, in which you are sending out your ants and going out and fighting other ants to get you know control of food that's on the board. Has a lot of miniatures. This was a Kickstarter, so there's lots of little ants running around. The first edition rule book was eh, but I know that they've gotten better at it as it goes along. And this is one of the more thematic games in your list if you're looking for an ant colony. Number four is Micropolis. Uh, Micropolis is not necessarily the best uh, theming here, uh, but it's a really solid game from Bruno Catala where you are uh, drafting pieces from the middle of the table and building your own ant colony as you connect all the different paths and score points based on what is on those paths. It's a solid filler style game with really cool looking things and again little ants that you put on and I think a lot of people will really like it. Number three, let's jump to the spiders. Well, there's still ants in this one, but the spiders are trying to get them, is Spinderella. Now, this is definitely a, a spider game. Uh, I mean, a, a kid's game. But it's so interesting because you are moving spiders that are on top of a roof, and through a, a pulley system, they're going to drop a spider that has a magnet on it to catch ants. It's really fascinating how the whole thing works, and I believe it won the Kids Game of the Year in Germany, and for good reason. It was it's just a solid, great game, and how it works is fascinating to me uh, just to watch it. Number two uh, was originally called X-Bugs, and then was reprinted later on as Micro Mutants. Uh, this is Tiddlywinks, but they're all bugs, but they're all mutated bugs, and they all have special powers. So you're flicking them, trying to land on your opponents. It's like a war game almost, and they have different shapes and sizes and special powers. I thought this was a pretty unique game, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see this come out in a third printing at least someday. I had a lot of fun with it. 
And number one, Mermies, the ant worker placement game of all the games on my list. This is definitely the heaviest of these games. Uh, an ant colony, which you are slowly going out and hunting down things and building your ant colony and, you know, having baby ants. And it's very strong thematically, a very tough game. It's easy to, to lose this game, but there's a lot going on in this. This game kind of got passed over for other games that came over in the same year, but it has uh, some really strong, you know, aspects to it and I think you should check it out. Those are my top 10 Bugs games. Uh, I'm sure there's a whole lot more out there. Cockroach Poker, a game called Ants, but there's not as many as I think there could be, but then again, I might be missing something amazing. Mention it in the comments so other people can see it. Until then, I'm Tom Bass, and you've been watching my top 10 Bug games. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.